Warning, the game contains flashing lights, loud noises, loud jumps, and lots of jump scares. Hello, and welcome to five hats of radies. Yeah, it's five minutes of radies. My face cam is covering it, because during gameplay, it's the best place to put it, since it's actually blocky. It's actually there on my screen right now, blocking as I'm playing, so. Anyway, yeah, so I can finally record this now that I have a new phone, and the thing doesn't crash uh, every time I try to use the face cam. I also know that I have headphones in because I don't want echoing from the game, but... Here, which, which the volume's alright. Okay, so let's begin. Yeah, Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Family Pizza are looking for security guard to work the night shift. Monitors, cameras, ensure the safe. I didn't even have enough time to read that. Okay, so... First night, 12 p.m. Oh, try not to block the face cam because my thumb is like totally not in front of it at all. It's in front of the screen, but because of how like wide angle this small lens is. Hello. Hello. Uh, I wanted to record a message for you to help you get settled in on your first night. Um, I actually warned you that you before. Okay, for my and sake, I'm gonna change the brightness up a little bit. Now, as a matter of fact, so. I know it can be a bit overwhelming, but I'm here to tell you there's nothing to worry about. Uh, you'll be fine. So let's just focus on getting you through your first week, okay? Uh, let's see. First, there's an introductory greeting from the company that I'm supposed to read. And it's kind of a legal thing, you know. Um, welcome to Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, a magical place for kids and grown-ups alike, where fantasy and fun come to life. Fazbear Entertainment is not responsible for damage to property or a person. Upon discovering that damage or death has occurred, a missing person report will be filed within 90 days or as soon as property and premises have been thoroughly cleaned and bleached. That's a and part of the introductory. Blah, blah, blah. Now, that might sound bad, I know, but there's really nothing to worry about. Uh, the animatronic characters here do get a bit quirky at night, but do I blame them? No. If I were forced to think, those same stupid songs for 20 years, if I never got a bath, I'd probably be a bit irritable at night too. So remember, these characters hold a special place in the hearts of children and you need to show them a little respect, right? Okay. So just be aware, the characters do tend to wander a bit. Uh, they're left in some kind of free roaming mode at night. Uh, something about their servos locking up they get turned off for too long. Uh, they used to be five animatronics. I see three there. there One's I know Foxy's yeah. in there, but where's yeah, Freddy? The human body can live without the frontal lobe, you know. Uh, now concerning your safety, the only real risk to you as a night watchman here, if any, is the fact that these characters, uh, if they happen to see you after hours, probably won't recognize you as a person. They'll, they'll most likely see you as a metal endoskeleton without a costume Now, sometimes against the rules here at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, they'll probably try to forcefully stuff you inside a Freddy Fazbear suit. Um, now, that wouldn't be so bad if the suits themselves weren't filled with cross beam, wires, and animatronic devices, especially around the facial area. So you can imagine where having your head... Sounds like the smart thing to do would be not to leave suits with any actual electronics lying around, only leave the leave empty ones lying around. Then if the electronics saw you and stuffed you in the suit, there'd be another in there and you'd be fine, right? Yeah, they don't tell you these things when you sign up. But yeah, I'll see. I'll chat with you tomorrow. Uh, check those cameras and remember to close the doors only if absolutely necessary. Gotta conserve power. Alright, good night. Oh, one of them moved. Uh... Yep, there it is. Two of them are about. Where's the other one?
Where is the other one? Come on. Show your face somewhere. Something sounds close. A uh, door! Ha! Huh. I can leave that door closed, right? It's like the last, like, goddamn hour. How long do I have to leave the door closed before I'm safe? Well, I made it. I had a close call there at the end. <laughs> the Bonnie at the door. I think, at least, I think it's called Bonnie. So, uh, yeah, so that's the. I made it through the first night. Um, had a close call there at the end, but uh, made it through. Um, I think I'm starting to get the idea of this game. I've played the Star Wars Times before, failed exponentially all the other times. Like, I'm not. Like, I haven't quite got like how the hell this game works really figured out. But, I'll get there. I also have the friggin' light shining in my face. From this, like, window here. I can't exactly turn that off. And there's windows all over this house, so. But, yeah. I haven't... God, it's been a while since I used a face... I think the only other time I used a face game in the recording was... During that Sonic Adventure 2 thing. That was really low quality. I was just trying to make up for the fact that the video was low quality. Anyway, uh, yeah, so... Will I play night two, or will I wimp out, and will this ever be the only Five Nights Let's Play video I come up? Well, we'll have to wait and see. Thank you. Uh, who the hell is messaging me? Cheap auto insurance. <laughs> yeah, right. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Uh, I mean, I'm a lot more likely to record another one of these if you comment and like it a lot. I mean, uh, yeah, so, thank you for watching, uh, I guess plus, like, I didn't really get to talk much because the phone guy was talking this time, so there's that too, so hopefully next time I'll get to commentate more, anyway, see ya.